Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Please subscribe and help the channel grow. Thank you very much. Okay, so, so far what we're looking for is a number to fit there. We've already done most of the work, so all I need to do now is just uh, see here where it says to mark count. I just need to change this number to the count of this one. Uh, then we are good. That's it. So since this will always be available here, it may be an empty array. Uh, for as long as it's an array, we are then good to go. So here, all I need to do is say return count that actually we don't need this anymore. Okay, so no need for that guy. Um, apart from that, I think this should work pretty well. So if I come back to the to mark, because this is where I am uh, trying to access this, what I will do is just do something like show and put wrap this inside it. That way it shows us the result of running this. So I will come back here and refresh and I see a one there, which is good. It means things are working. Now, a little bit of an explanation inside the tests model. The reason I changed uh, the test name here to this over here in the previous video is because what we're trying to access here is right inside uh, test represented the tests model itself. Because if we follow where this code is coming from, this is what test is. It's actually the test model itself, which we are inside of here. So this is why I changed it to this, because we are talking about this particular instance of the test model, whatever that instance will be. So yeah, that's why that works, because these functions are inside this very model. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, we know how to get things done. So I will always need this right here. So I'm, I will copy that and remove the second part here. Save. Now we're going to go to the nav bar. Now inside the nav here, we want to get the count here. So we will do that by instantiating the test um, model here. And then we set this guy to this, uh, like so, and put an equal sign like that. Okay, so we'll start with it being a zero, but since this will return a zero if things don't go well, we don't need that anymore. Now, we can do it this way, or if you know you're just going to use this test model once, you can simply uh, add a shortcut here. Let's do it like this. Let me copy this. And here I can just say, um, let me do this. If you want to make a one liner here, we just do this, put that in brackets, paste that like so. And then we will not need this. So we can remove all of this by just using this. So because this is set to whatever new test model is, and then we grab that function from there. So this is perfectly valid. If I delete that, it will still work as a one-liner like this. So let me refresh and we see a number one there, which is awesome. So let me do this. Great. So that's our number one there. Now, if we go to the database and remove this from submitted, Let's try that, shall we? Where is SkuDB? And yeah, let's go to answered tests table. And where it says submitted here, we're just going to put a zero. So from there, we refresh, we have nothing, and you see that thing disappears there. No notifications anymore. Uh, nothing marked either, but if we change this back to one, uh, we are back and there it is showing a one. Oh, we are on this page. We should be on this page. Okay. In the marked section, there's nothing. So let's try and consider this one marked and let's see what happens. So we lose that notification, but uh, let's see what warning we're getting here. Uh, where are we? Marked. 
yes to mark uh-huh marked so what is it complaining about saying undefined uh, property class test details okay so the thing is um, marked here should have its own view because what we see on to marked should not be the same as what we see on map for example this button here it doesn't make sense to say mark this test if we are not on the to marked page so we should uh, put that into consideration anyway we will fix these errors in the next video so don't worry about them for now uh, we are good here so let me remove this marked like this yes and refresh and we have our notification so that's how we get our notifications right there okay great so uh let's move on to let's move on to this section though i think we can uh, finish that real quick where we have an error here uh let's see if we did say marked here let me put a one so that we have something marked and let me click here and there we go so let's see what it's complaining about in the error message so marked.inc oh so this one does have a separate file to this one yeah so that's good so we're going to go to markedinc.php online 21 so let's go to the views rather quickly here and marked.inc there we go so line 21 this one so test details test so it doesn't seem to have test details so why is that hmm. okay so if we go to marked ink let me just type something here just so it doesn't disappear when i click on another file if i go to marked where is marked there we go so it seems it is reading information from here but the information doesn't have something we need so let's inspect what's here i'm just going to say show and paste that like so okay that way we can inspect why test details is missing so refresh because from my understanding this should be the same as this section here so there must be something different okay hmm okay so yeah definitely there's something different here let's see for a second uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. what is it looking for it's looking for test details that should be there though so let's go to the to mark and see where test details comes from so let's see here okay so there it is test details right here mm -hmm. so let's see to mark and marked.php should have this as well and surprise surprise it doesn't so it seems we added something and didn't add it here so let me just copy this and go to marked and right in here i will paste just to make sure that uh, things are going as planned i will check for variable names here and it seems everything is accounted for so let me get back here refresh and we have more details very good and so we have more details there as well cool so back to marked let's remove this show down here and let's refresh okay so this test was marked now we have to remove this mark this test because this is in the marked ink dot php so we have to remove mark this test maybe we can say view view test like this because it was marked then now somebody can view um can view the result of this so view test may look like we are trying to view an unmarked test so you could change the terminology here to show you that you're trying to view what the student wrote and not what the lecturer designed for a test mm -hmm. 
Anyway, since there's a student name here, I'm sure it will be obvious that when viewing the test, you're viewing the test that the student took. Okay. Now, submitted date should change to something else. Date uh, marked, maybe, like so. And we will use the, um, let's come back here. They should be marked by and marked date. There we go. So the student, actually, let's leave the submitted date there for a second. What we can do is just extend it, add one more and date marked like this should work. And then there's student here and then uh, marked by should also be there. So student name. Uh, let's move the marked by one step this way. I hope I don't get confused here by all this all these changes that I've done but yeah these are uh, at the end here so marked by and then date marked here so we leave this date submitted and just add these two here so copy that content and just after date submitted which is this one we will add a few more items just two items here doop, doop, like so so where we are getting the date submitted is the same row that we're going to have the, um, the this wherever there is this we will have marked date so let me change that to marked date that comes second i think so marked date like so and then there is marked by which will contain a user id so let's see here guy dude marked by mm -hmm. okay so here let's see uh, marked by marked underscore by now these things <coughs> excuse me these things are empty for now so let's just see how they represent okay so test name the student uh date submitted marked by uh it shouldn't be a date should it yeah so get date should not be there let's remove that that should just be a name so refresh okay marked by date marked because there isn't a date so it's just going to default to the very first date of the first computer so first january 1970 so don't freak out when you see that that's normal when the date is empty so we will fill in these once the test is marked as marked because this information will be added here once we click that button and if this is too much information here instead of view test uh you, we can remove the word test just leave view like that so we can give more space for more important information like this Okay, great. So, so far, so good. Uh, in the next video, let's see how submission will actually occur. But for now, let me just remove mark, remove marked from there so that we have empty and we have something to be marked here. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.